humans exist, together with plants and animals, in a delicate ecosystem. We depend on animals and plants for building, food, clothing, pets, medicines, and fuel, to name but a few. The buying and selling of plant and animal resources is referred to as the wildlife trade. Wildlife products account for $323 billion in global sales each year. When these resources are exploited or mismanaged, they can result in the spread of infectious diseases and the introduction of invasive animal species. 60% of all emerging infectious diseases come from contact with wild animals. These diseases may not necessarily harm the animals, but can be lethal to human beings and sometimes result in pandemics. Some of these you might be familiar with. HIV and AIDS, Ebola, SARS. Wild animals purchased as pets can also be a problem if they are released into the wild away from their natural habitat. They can disrupt and endanger existing ecosystems. At EcoHealth Alliance, we're working on these initiatives to help make the wildlife trade more sustainable. Pandemic Prediction Recommending healthy and eco-friendly pets Informing government partners about wildlife-associated pathogen risk Increasing public awareness of pathogen risk for travelers In order to keep the wildlife trade sustainable, we need help from you. What can you do to help prevent the next pandemic and keep wild animals off the endangered species list? Easy. Just ask questions before making a purchase. What is this made of? Where did this come from? Does the country I'm visiting allow its sale and export? Do I need special permission from the government to bring this home? Is this animal captive bred? Does it pose a health risk? Do your part to protect human, animal, and ecosystem health. For more information, check out ecohealthalliance.org.